Hello, in this video, we will learn how to define a function. To define a function, you will give the function name and a list of parameters. Each parameter has a name and type. They are separated by commas. The function may have a return value. The return value type is specified here. And this is the body of the function. And the function has a return value. It has to be returned using the keyword return with the value. So this is the definition of a function. Let's look at the other components. So what is the name of the function? Here is this max, the name of the function is an identifier. What are the formal parameters? So these are called the formal parameters. Each has a type, they're separated by commas. And this, the whole thing is called the parameter list. Function name, including the parameter list together is called the function signature. And this is the return type. Function return value type is defined. This, the whole thing on the first line here is this is called the function header. And this is the function body. And this is the return from the function. And now we're gonna call this function here. So this, you're gonna pass the actual value. So this is the actual parameter or we'll call the arguments, x, y. You're gonna pass the value of x, y to num1 and num2 to invoke the function. Now let's put this all together to write a test program. So we're gonna call the function. We're gonna put all this together in this program now. This is the program. So we're going to have this max along with the main function. In the main function, we have i and j. So we're gonna invoke max ij to return the maximum between i and j. So let's see how this works. Using this animation, we're gonna turn this audio on. The program starts the execution from the main function. The statement assigns five to variable i. The statement assigns two to variable j. The statement will invoke the max function and assign the return value from the function to k. Check your understanding. Note that in all code animation, you can use mouse or finger to move highlight, explanation, output, and check your understanding box freely. Is the value of i passed to num1 when invoking max, i, j? Answer yes or no. Yes. So let's continue to look you at it. Correct. Let us continue to see how it works. The max function is invoked. Now, this. The values of i and j are passed to num1 and num2. The values of i and j are passed to num1 and num2. So this num1 and i, they have the same value, but they are independent variables. Variable result is declared. The condition num1 is greater than num2 is tested. It is true in this case. Num1 is assigned to result. The result will be returned from the max function. The max function is finished. The max function is finished. So we're going to return the result back to the caller. So this is right here the max here. 
the return value is assigned to variable k. This is how a function is called, how the arguments are passed to a function. Now, look at this diagram here. Was this min and this is max. So when this max is called, you're gonna see this, the uh, value is passed to the parameter and the control of the execution now is at this max. When this return statement is executed and the value is returned to the caller and the control is back to the main function. Each time a function is invoked, the system creates an activation record also called an activation frame that stores its arguments and variables for the function and places the activation record in the area of the memory called core stack. So this is here. See how this is executed when the main function started. It is now the activation record for the main function put it into the stack and next invoke the max function. The activation record for the main max function is now put on top of the stack. And now we get the result. And after this, so we're gonna return the result back to this caller. So the max function is finished. The activation record for the max function now is removed out of the stack. And finally, the main function is finished. So stack is now empty. Thank you for watching this video. See you on the next video.